ただきます Hi guys, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a what's in my makeup bag. Okay, so basically a lot of the stuff, like some of the stuff in here I don't use, but I keep in here just in case I want to use it. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to reach in and grab stuff out. Okay. So first off, I have this little mirror, like two mirror thing in here and I sometimes just because I don't do my makeup by a mirror, I just sit on my bed and like face the window and so I use this. Next I have this e.l.f. Cool eyeliner and I just kind of keep it for the sharpener thing. But, because it's really thick, like the pencil is like super thick so I don't use that. And next is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I use this every day. I don't know, ever since I started using this, um, my acne is not as bad and I think it's because like it covers my pores so then the rest of the makeup doesn't get in it so I really like this. Oh, next is this thing I just got actually from MAC, like it's just, it was just one of like the things that you can use to like apply mascara I think, but I use it for my eyebrows and it works pretty good, so. Um, next is this Revlon Rose Glow, Rose Glow Highlighting Palette, and I don't really use it anymore, but I did use it for a while because it's the dupe of the, I believe it's the Bobbi Brown one or something, I can't remember, but yeah, it's the dupe of that, so. Next is this Tarte Bronzer that I recently just started using. I got it in an Ipsy bag, but I just started using it now because my other bronzer like bro, it's really, it was really sad. Okay, next is this Sephora powder in shade 21. Okay, next is this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that I really, really like. So I just use it on my red spots. I don't really put it under my eye like everyone else does because for some reason it like cakes under there and it looks really weird, so I don't do that. Okay, next is this e.l.f. powder brush that I use every day. I really need to clean it, but I love this. It's I guess it's meant for powder, but it's more of a like a buffing blender brush, so I use it to blend in my foundation. Next is this MAC 217 blending brush for your eyeshadow. This I've had for like, since I was in like 8th grade. Next is this The Real by Benefit. I actually got, I have another one in here, oh yeah right here. I got this one in an Ipsy bag and I really really liked it. This one's out, I don't know why I keep it. But, and then so then I went into Sephora and got this one and like the shape is like super cool on this one. It's like all weird. Next, I have another e.l.f. brush and this is for bronzer. And these e.l.f. brushes are super, super cool. Like, I'm pretty sure this one was only six dollars. Um, but yeah, I use this like every day. It's really, really cool if you can like see that. Next, I have this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Like, I use this one all the time. This one's super cool and it's almost out, which is going to be sad, but. Okay, next, I have this Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express waterproof, which I actually do use this one when I'm like going to the pool or something. I really like the brush on it. Like it just makes it so it doesn't clump. It's super nice. I really like it. I wish that I had this brush in a non-waterproof one. Next I have this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Um, but I got it like in this really, really dark color because I use it as a base for my bronzer. Like it smudges like I don't know. So I try not to touch it and I try not to use as much. I just, so, yeah. Okay, next is this Makeup Designery um, for Eyeshadow Palette, which is super cool. Um, I really like this one because I got to pick the eyeshadow colors. And I also really like this, like, um, packaging. It, like, reminds me of, like, a Spy or something. I don't know why. Like, it reminds me of, like, Spy Kids. Like, if you could feel it, it's, like, Spy Kids for sure. Okay, next is this Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick, which is, like, so out, but, like, I still can get some out of it. Okay, next is this, oh, yeah, so this was a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick, and, um, so I've been buying these, and this one is in shade 130 Buff Beige, and then I have another one in here that I just used all of, which is 220, in 
natural beige and I feel like they give the same type of um, they're on the same level basically next is this oh Sephora oh my gosh I love this one this is Sephora micro smooth sunray and I seriously am in love with this the colors are so pretty I love the gold one they're super nice next I have this elf powder brush well I it doesn't say that but I use it for my powder and I really like the brush it's like super fluffy oh next is my old brush and like I used to love this brush but now compared to this new brush that I got like it's really like stiff and like hard next I have this 417 peach fuzz in L'Oreal I mean which I think is such a funny name peach fuzz like peach fuzz like that's like the little like girl mustache so, yeah, but this is really, really pretty. I really like the packaging on this one. Like, it also makes me feel like a spy. And I think it's super cool because it has, like, the L'Oreal thing, like, engraved in it. So, that's pretty neat. Uh, oh, this WhatsApp, which I've been using a lot recently. And I got it in the Christmas calendar thing or the Advent calendar by Benefit. I don't know. It kind of has, like, a brownish, like, tint in it for some reason to me. And so I really like it, and I've been using it on the tip of my nose. Next, I have this MAC Eye Cool Fascinating Crayon, and it's white, and I've been using it in the inner corners of my eyes. I really, really like it. And also in here, I have this eyeliner, which I use every single time I put eyeliner on. It's like my favorite eyeliner, and I'm pretty sure I got it in an Ipsy bag or something. I don't even know where you buy this brand, but I don't, I don't even know. Like, I could have just gotten this from, like, a friend or something. This is, like, my favorite thing, though. It's Palladio Liquid Eyeliner, and it's super easy to use, and it has, like, this thin little tip, and it's just super nice. And, I just, and lastly, I'm just going to do this all in one. I just have some brushes. This is an e.l.f. concealer brush. This is the flat brush that I use. This is like a little thin eyeliner brush that I sometimes use. And this is a contour brush from Ulta. So that is all everything that is in my makeup bag. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope that maybe you guys found saw some things that maybe you want to buy or use or something. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you liked me then subscribe and um, I hope you guys have a very good day and